think about DCH? Um, well, I don't know. I really just don't know. Um, I don't, I don't care that much, partly because, I mean, honestly, we're at a crossroads where either you accept the Windows 10 and 11 life, or you go Linux or Mac OS. You, there's, I mean, Microsoft owns Windows 7. They're not going to update Windows 7 to be able to support newer hardware. Some newer hardware is a pain in the ass to support with Windows 7 anyway. So, I mean, is there is there even a point? You know, it's like, I don't, I don't really care because I don't think I need to care. Um, if the drivers work, then I don't care. If the drivers don't work, then I do care. And that's just it. Microsoft says it's supposed to be faster and better than legacy drivers. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Um, but <laughs> the truth is things are getting shittier because there's just too much. There's too much complexity. Firefox, I, I always recommended Firefox to everyone. Um, the problem is they've made the multi-process model the only way you can use it, which was the problem with Chrome the whole time. Chrome, um, Chrome would run, run separate processes for the tabs that you had running. And when Firefox went multi-process, um, it, things got shitty really quick. And I understand that you're trying to do this thing where you isolate pages from one another and you're trying to prevent a crash of one tab, which shouldn't happen, by the way. Y y shouldn't be crashing, but browsers are complex from crashing the whole browser but the problem is once Firefox did this all of a sudden it became slower than dog shit so now like I'm sitting here like okay Firefox threw away the old plugin structure so now stuff like tab mix plus the best plugin ever don't work anymore and I've I've even got Waterfox classic and it's still glitchy as shit even on that. And I can't use that browser for half the stuff anymore. But you threw away the old plugin infrastructure, which was a big reason to use Firefox over Chrome. And you adopted Chrome's plugin infrastructure. Okay, I mean, there are arguments for doing that, but what the fuck, man? Okay. So, but then, on top of that, you add this multi process crap. And supposedly, I'm the customer, right? How am I going to benefit from adding this feature? Um, okay, a crash of one tab, which is something that, I got to be honest, almost never, ever happens. Like, ever. I, I don't have browser tab crashes. It just doesn't really happen. It's, it's so rare that I'm amazed when it does. So, a browser tab crash doesn't take out the other tabs. But if I start the browser back up, it should just reload my tabs anyway. I mean, I, I don't care. So, you're not benefiting me in that regard. You're just making my shit slower. Oh, you, you can isolate this this tab st stuff from that tab stuff so that tab doesn't have some backhanded way of spying on this tab stuff? Okay, I guess. Um, but if that's a thing that exists, that's a problem with the way that you've written the software. Um, and I'm like, how big of a risk surface are we really talking about? So you're protecting me from things that I look at and I go, this is like 99.99999% certain to not be a thing I have to give a shit about. It's never going to happen to me. And if it does, will I even know that it happened? Will they even be able to exploit it? Chances are pretty good that I don't have to care. But you're making my shit slower to do it. So you're protecting me against things that aren't a problem for me, most likely. And you're making everything run like crap in service of this noble goal of protecting me from shit that's probably not a risk. Thanks, guys. Thanks so fucking much.